it's Katie welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial and if you saw my last video where I talked about some products that I've been really enjoying you saw me swatch some green shades and since then I was like I have to do a makeup tutorial using some green shadows so that is what I'm gonna be doing today I thought I'd pull out the subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills the palette that literally broke the internet I personally like it I mean sometimes I'm like hmm I need to blow the shade a little bit more than usual but I don't know if it was worth all the drama I think some people just needed to take a deep breath but that's okay maybe I just got a good palette but yeah that's what today's video is gonna be all about I'm gonna be doing a green look using the subculture palette so I hope that you enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and check out my social media links below and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start by taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this doesn't change how your makeup applies on your skin or make your makeup last longer. It just feels nice and like refreshing and hydrating on your skin. You know, if you're doing your makeup first thing in the morning and you wake up and you're like, ugh, this just, it just feels nice on the skin. So to prime the skin, I'm going to take the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake before I apply it to my skin. My skin doesn't really have any specific problems today. So this is just going to like smooth the skin, create a nice canvas for the foundation. So I'm just applying that on my hand and then just rubbing it into the face. And I find this primer to blur the little veins that I have on my skin, especially around my eye area, which, you know, is always nice to get rid of, isn't it? <laughs> so I want my skin to look glowy, so I'm going to take the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and I'm just going to be applying this to my face. And blending it in with a dense fiber brush. So for foundation, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And this is in the shade Fair Beige. It won't match my fake tan, so I'm going to mix in some of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G80. Literally the smallest amount because these Cover FX drops go the longest way. So I'm just going to take, like, just dab that in and then mix it up. Make a little foundation cocktail. <laughs> Okay, that looks about right. So I'm just gonna dab this on my face. I can always change the color as I go when I blend it out if it's not looking right, but I think this should be good. Let's blend this out with the Morphe Y6 brush. Oh yeah, this is a good color. I love this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. It's such full coverage and it's such a beautiful finish on the skin. It's like your skin but better foundation. I really, really like it. So let's move on to concealer. So I'm going to take the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Ivory. And this is a great drugstore concealer. It has nice coverage. It's not cakey or anything under the eyes or on the skin. Just blending that out with a damp beauty blender. So before I set my face, I'm going to use some liquid highlighter. And yesterday I went out to a friend's birthday and I was out for like 13 hours or something. And when I'm out for a long time, I like to, when I come home, sit in front of the mirror and just kind of examine my makeup, see what lasted, what didn't, what I could improve on. And when I came home, my highlighter was still banging. And that's because I used the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. So I'm going to do that again today. So I'm just going to... Pop a little bit of this on the tops of my cheekbones. You only need the smallest amount. It goes such a long way. And I'm also applying it above my brow bone. Above my brow bone. I meant my brow. <laughs> and then I just like to blend that out with a beauty blender. I mean... Just look at that, so beautiful. I also like to go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of buff around where I apply that liquid highlighter just to buff it into the skin and into that foundation so that there are no harsh lines. Okay, let's set the face to make sure nothing's going to move. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder. And another thing I love about the Cover FX Liquid Highlighter is even when you set the face, you can still see that highlighter peeking through. And as always, I'm dabbing the powder onto the skin rather than rubbing to ensure that we don't move any of those liquids. 
Let's warm up the skin a little. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to mix these two cooler shades just to sculpt out my cheekbones, get some definition into my face. So I'm just going to be applying this in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm now going to go into this warm shade from the palette. And I've been really liking this brush, the Morphe Y8, to bronze up the skin because it is quite dense. So I find that I can really like pack on that bronzer. Of course, bringing that up around the perimeters of my face, so around my temples and my forehead. I also find that using this brush, I can get a little bit more precision on where I apply my bronzer because I'm dabbing it on rather than buffing it in. So I can really pack the product on the skin where I want to. I'm going to add a flush of color to my skin using the Sigma Aqua Powder Cote Rosa Blush. And this is such a beautiful color and the pan size is amazing. Just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it back towards my temples. And as you can see, we already have such a beautiful glow to the skin, but why not add some more? So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter, and this is in the shade Sin. This is a nice, like, champagne-y gold color. I'm just going to be applying this to the tops of my cheekbones and where I applied that liquid highlighter. Oh, I love how all these products have made my skin look. It just looks so beautiful, so glowy and healthy. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> so the skin is done. It is looking fabulous. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And if you didn't know, I have a full brow routine video on my channel, which you can go check out if you want to see how I do my brows. And then we'll go ahead and do the eyes. So let's jump straight into the palette. So I'm going to take New Wave, which is this light orangey shade. And this palette is very pigmented and does have quite a lot of fallout. So you just have to literally touch your brush in the pan. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So just running it through my crease. And as I blend the product and there becomes less product on the brush, I like to begin to buff the product towards my brow bone. Okay, now that that's all blended out, we're going to take Fudge and I'm going to be applying this just below New Wave and really focusing that in my crease and on my outer corner and of course blending as I go. Just grabbing a little bit more Fudge to build up that intensity. So let's go ahead and carve this half cut crease. So I'm just going to take some of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer and a flat top synthetic brush. Let's just go ahead and carve this. I'm going to be carving it above my natural crease as I do have quite hooded eyes. So I want more of a lid space to apply the product that we're going to be using. Just tapping out the edge of that half cut crease with my finger just to kind of blend the concealer into the rest of the eyeshadow. So on the lid, I'm going to be applying a really nice green, but I don't want it to go from green straight to the brown. So I'm going to go back in with New Wave, just on a flat brush, and I'm going to be applying that on the end of that half-cut crease so that it goes from a nice blend of green to orangey to brown. So there's a nice gradient of color rather than any harsh lines. So to make the green shade that we're going to be applying from that subculture palette really, really pigmented, I'm going to go in with a product that I talked about in my last video, and that is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in Desert Dazzle. And I'm going to be taking that liquid eyeshadow side, and I'm going to be applying that straight onto where I applied that concealer. And because it does have a doe foot applicator, it makes it really easy just to go straight onto that lid and still be able to get that nice sharp half cut crease look and then once I get close to that new wave shade I'm going to gradually fade out that green shade so that again we have a nice gradient of color so I just went ahead and did the other eye while I let that liquid eyeshadow dry now I'm just going to spritz my brush just to get it a little bit damp before I go in with that shade electric from the palette which is this gorgeous like bright green, almost iridescent shade. I'm just picking that up on my brush and I'm going to be applying that over the liquid eyeshadow. Oh, this shade is so pretty and applying that liquid eyeshadow under it has just made it so much more pigmented. Again, taking more of New Wave just to blend out the outer half of this half cut crease. 
I'm loving this green, so let's add a little bit of glitter to define this half cut crease. So I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glory Liquid Eyeshadow in Gold Goddess. But I'm actually going to be using the applicator from the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners because I find with this applicator you can get a really nice precise line. But I find this glitter to be better to use maybe on the lid because it's a little bit more separated than the Stila Magnificent Metals. So I'm just going to be taking the Stila Magnificent Metals on the Urban Decay Heavy Metal glitter liner applicator if you're keeping up and I'm going to be applying this where the green ends just to really carve out and define this half cut crease and I'm really taking my time with this line because I want it to be nice and precise and thin. So let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. So I wanted to add a little bit more green so there's three greens in this palette so I don't know which one I should go for. Let's have a little swatch. Ooh. Thinking maybe this one? Maybe I'll apply this one and then tuck this color really close to the lash line. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's start off with the shade Destiny and just applying this under my lash line. And then tucking Untamed even closer to my waterline. So I didn't have any green liner, so I'm going to go in with black and I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and I'm going to use this to line my waterline and tight line my eyes. Let's quickly curl our lashes before applying some mascara. So I'm going to take the Milani Big and Bigger Lashes Volume Mascara and I've been really enjoying this one. And then to give my lashes a little bit more length, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. And then for the inner corner, I'm thinking, should I just highlight it or should I add a little bit more glitter? Is glitter a bit extra? You know what? I'm extra, so let's go in with some glitter. Ooh, yeah. Good decision. I like that. I love how this eye look has turned out. I'm literally obsessed with the green. So happy. So I'm now just going to spritz my face with some makeup setting spray just to ensure that it lasts all day. So let's go in with the Glam, go, Glam Glow Glow Getter. So I'm going to shake this up a little bit. I've actually never used this, so let's test out the spray. Oh yeah, it's like a nice mist. Mmm, it smells really good as well. Alright, let's give this a go. For lips, oh, it's such a hard one. My favourite liquid lipstick shade is Hunty by Jeffree Star. This gorgeous, like, orangey, nudie brown. But then I was like, come on, Katie, what other shades would go well with this look? So then I was like, should I go for this type of shade or like a dark brown. Look, literally so many swatches. I've got Posh Spice here by Jeffree Star. So I don't know. Maybe I could try this. And if this doesn't work, I'll probably just stick to Hunty. <laughs> the shade is a little bit scary. It's kind of like a, a grey nudie brown, but let's give it a go. Mm, what are we thinking? Let's try the bottom lip. I actually really like it. I think maybe it needs to be warmed up a little bit just because the eye look is quite warm. Although, it kind of goes. Let's add a touch of Hunty. Just see what this looks like. And then I can always get rid of it. I like it. I like that it's a little bit different. Like, if this was a bit much for you, you could totally just go for like a nude or a brown lip, but I'm really liking this. Ooh. And that, guys, is the finished look. I really, really love it. And I hope you guys do too. So thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.